Hi everyone, I was just getting ready to upload this video about the volcanic eruption, um, but I'm going to have to edit this now because while I was waiting for another video to upload, I, I was watching Jurassic Park. It's kind of a lazy evening, it's raining, cloudy, cool outside, and I just was just kind of laying around, popped some popcorn, and was watching Jurassic Park. And um, when that went off, I was flipping through the channels and I saw, you're going to say, yeah, right, but Dante's Peak was coming on, and that's about volcanic eruption that the town wasn't expecting and, and wasn't taking seriously with the warnings. Um, as it started, they showed, um, and I don't think I ever really saw the beginning of that movie, even when it came out several years ago, but there were lava bombs going everywhere. And, um, and it struck, like, one of the main characters, the main scientists, it struck his car and hit his wife or girlfriend, but they were cleared, cleared to show the lava bombs. And it was just, like, maybe an hour after I just got through filming this first segment of this video, about the, volcan the volcanic eruption, so I thought that was pretty interesting, the timing of that. Um, sure, yes, it could be a coincidence. I don't want to um, make everything seem, you know, ooh, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be like that, but, um, but yeah, that was just pretty interesting, the timing of that. It was pretty uncanny. And also, um, I saw, um, at the same time, there's two other programs that are on right now, Doomsday Preppers and Doomsday Bunkers, so... It just reminded me again that how unprepared we really are for the for any type of disaster that would strike. We are totally unprepared. We have some water and some food, but not nearly enough. They recommend having um, one gallon of water per person per day for three days if there's going to be an evacuation. Um, otherwise, if you're going to be in the area longer, they recommend the same por uh, portions for at least a week. So, among other things, I would go to FEMA's, um, FEMA.gov, I believe, and the Red Cross, and um, just, there's various websites that you can go to to see exactly what you need, or just Google um, emergency preparedness, um, and they'll, there, there should be plenty of things that come up to give you ideas on what you can do to prepare. Um, so, that's that. Also, um, I just thought I'd just do a quick rundown of some of the volcan volcanoes in Southern California, or in California um, in general. I don't know too much about the ones up north, but I do know um, after researching, which was really an eye-opener, because like I said in the first part of the video, um, volcanoes in California, not here, or Southern California, not here. Well, yes, there are. Um, I think I mentioned them in some of them in the volcanic eruption stream that I had, but um, I'll just kind of reiterate. There's the coastal volcanic field, which is near, um, not too far from Bakersfield. I think it's a little north of the Bakersfield area. There is um, a very large um, area of, of volcanic uh, um, uh, formations of um, domes and, and actually a crater, a huge crater, the Long Valley Caldera, which is in the Mammoth Lakes area of Central California. Um, that whole area, Inyo, Mano, um, Lake, that whole area, those are all volcanoes over that in that way, that, that region. Um, there's an area that, I don't know how many of you guys know about this, It's uh, it was a scene of, on one website said, a very violent volcanic eruption. They say millions of years ago, but I don't believe the earth is that old. Um, so, um, but anyway, I'm not going to get into that debate. But they said it was, a, a, I'll just put it this way, it was a long time ago. And there's an actual place, it's called Hole in the Woods. And it's very pretty, the, the formations. It's like something otherworldly. If you can see the way that the volcano, um, the lava landed, it just created these formations. It's really weird rock formations. It's very, very neat to look at. But that's at the Woods um, Mountain area range, and it's Mojave National Preserve, that whole area. That's the Woods Mountains. That's a volcanic area. Not far from that is um, the Pisgah Crater and Amboy Crater, um, the whole Lavic Lake area. That's like... I want to say um, east of Barstow, California, and um, and then you tra travel down a little bit south of that, and that underneath the Salton Sea are a set of lava domes, and um, the Salton, um, right at the southern tip of the Salton Sea, and there's actually a ge geothermal plant, which my sister, interestingly, in her dream, she saw um, a couple of plants. There was one right across the freeway from the other one, and she said they thought it was going to happen at one plant, but it was actually going to happen at another plant. Well, not far from El Central, which is where the site of one of the earthquakes that she saw, um, there's a geothermal um, plant because of the volcanic activity underneath the Salton Sea. 
And there was this actually recent swarm of earthquakes um, over the last week and a half or so. I was watching that pretty closely because they have swarms there, but this one just seemed like it wasn't really dying out. So, but it seemed to have died out now. So, um, but we'll still keep watching. Um, and it was just south of that is in the you cross the border and there's Cerro Prieto, the, the Mexican volcano, which is I think they say it's dormant, but it's not dead. Um, so, and there is a geothermal plant there. So I'm wondering is that the one my sister saw. Like she said, there's one across the freeway. I was wondering, like, is it across the border? Because there's the one at Salton Sea and the other one. So just food for thought. Research it and let me know what you find. I'm going to do some more research on it, too. I don't always have a lot of time. So a full-time grad student taking care of three kids and other life issues. So all righty. Well, God bless. And uh, I'd like to hear some dialogue about this. Positive dialogue, please. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. This thing belongs. And if she doesn't mind seeing the Helens, the blast will get here within a minute. I hope you're wrong about our volcano, Harry. Can you see the date on that? I Saturday, thought. March 17th at 5.45 p.m. Dante's Peak on TV Guide Network. All right, there it is. God bless.